Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Square again. Okay, in this video, we go to the lesson 6 that talking about the random number. Okay, we go to the first puzzle here, random number. Okay, so let me drag it down a little bit. Okay, so in here you have a new block in the mud drawer. You can see in this mud here and call the random number. Okay, this new block. Okay. If you make your drawing with a random number, it will look a little bit different every time you run the program. So, can you learn about the block by hovering over in the true block and choosing the example? And you can see it like this picture. So, you can hover in, hover on the random number. After then, you move to the example and click it. After that, it will open the new window and you can see about the, the detail about the random number and in here we have the two parameter for the first one in min and second is the max, min number and the max number okay so if you want to generate a random number between the 5 to 20 it means the inclusive okay so what you have to do is you have to use a random number put the min with the 5 and max with the 20 the console or it will be print the rem the number between that 5 and 20 okay so just finish it and do this run the program several times to see how it works and change the number inside the random number and run the code again a few time to see what's changed okay let me run okay now we can see this circle okay the orange circle is near the the middle and the left of the screen and reset and run again it come to the end of the screen okay it's come back and after that it nearly center and after that it come to the end of the screen again so you have to change the try to change the num the random the number inside the random number and run the code again a few times to see what's changed okay. inside the random number numbers here they use from the min is 0 and the max is 400 so what happens if I put it only 50 reset and run reset and run reset and run okay. you can see the center of the, the circle for the ellipse, it is not bigger than the the 50, okay? It is the maximum number, okay? So if you want it to move to right or until the center of the screen, you can make it around 200, okay? Like that. Run, and then run, and then run, okay, to see. Run again, okay, like that. If you put the 400, it means that your ellipse or your circle will be draw from x0 until the x400 it will between that 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 number okay so reset and run again run okay like that finish it you continue okay so we go to the puzzle to the random number again okay here the same sun from the last time right now only x coordinates is random but you can make the y coordinate random too okay you use the random number again for the ellipse y parameter so the circle is drawn in a random y position too okay as long as your circle is appearing at a random x and y position you can move on okay so what you have to do now is to random the y position now is it random only x coordinate now make the this 200 random too so what it's nothing wrong nothing um, dif difficult you just use a random number put the zero and this 400 okay reset and run so now the circle will be draw somewhere on the screen okay at the entire screen okay 
Finish it. Okay, we go to the puzzle three variable and random number. Okay, variable can be assigned a random number too. Okay, this let you sell single random value so that you can use it many times as you want in your program. Okay, do this. Assign a random number to variable i size. Okay, so that the eyes automatically change size every time you run the program. Remember the left. And the right eye should always always match each other. Okay, let me see this. What happened? If I click run, okay, the eye size is not changed. Okay, so what you have to do is you make the eye with the replace the twenty seven with the random number, and you can change it to round ten until thirty. Okay, let me try. Because this eye size all already used in the ellipse width and height is here. Reset and run. Okay. When you press run, it will small, big, a little bit small. Same, a, a little bit small. Okay. It is smallest. It may be the value of the random number, maybe ten. Okay. So that's all for this. Finish it. Changing variable value. Okay, this two flower use a single variable to store their pentas size. Okay, but the value store in the variable changes in the middle of the program. Okay, so run the program several times to see how it works. Discuss with the, the code with the partner and then change the program so that the flower and random pentas size as this image. Okay, so you run this and what can you see in this program? The size or the pentas size is not any random. Okay. So what you have to do is to use the random size. Okay. You just delete the thirty. Use the random. Okay. Replace with random. You can replace it with the size of it is around ten. You can change it to fifty. And another one is the pentas size is changing here or update here. So what you have to do is use it as the same. So what is different between these two this variable? For the first, it got one random number. After that, read this line. The pentas size will generate another number. So the pentas size of that two flower is not the same. Okay, reset and run. You can see. Okay. Reset and run to see one small and one is big. Okay, like that. And you make this it only thirty. Okay, to fifty. Okay, that is more. Yeah, this more beautiful. Okay, one big, one small, like this image. Okay, that's all for this. Finish it. Continue. Okay, we go to the practice with random number. Okay, choose from the following activity. We choose this one. Modify the planet. Okay, what problem with planets? Okay, modify the planet. You have learned how to random, randomize thing. So it's time to put all the knowledge to use in this end. Okay, do this. Make this end more fun. Give the planet a random size. So it's always changing and. Edit fun, randomize their position a little bit. Okay, so what you have to do is random size and position. So what you have to do is you have to use the uh, random position. You can use both x and y. Okay, so now I choose a random number for this from zero to four hundred. And this delete it and use a random number zero to four hundred. And next, the width also I uh, use the random number around ten to one hundred. And high also the random number ten to one hundred. Okay, 
we have another inlet here, but we do not need to write it again. You just copy it, okay? And replace the other. Copy it and paste here. And this one, okay, this one, this one, and this one. Too. So all the parameter inside the inlet is the random. Reset and run. Okay, that's fun, right? The planet is moves around the screen, and each of that is different size and different location. Okay, like that. Okay. So that's cool. When this is another one, debug a random shape position. Okay. Okay, for this, right now this program. Each rectangle has its own random position. Can you make it so that the rectangle are always stack on the top of each other, but the entire stack is random position, okay? Randomly position. Do this. Run program, how it works. Okay. okay, that is a random position, but we want it to it's always stack on the top of each other. So what you have to do is you just copy the, the egg position variable Paste it here of the second rectangle and the third rectangle. We do not use the another random number. Okay, so this one we use the only random number at the top of the program. We use it only one. Okay, reset and run. It will be random the position, but that rectangle will be stacked on each other like that. Okay, finish it. Okay, finish. We go to the puzzle 6. Okay. Okay, this program draw rainbow snake. So, to make the snake draw differently every time, you need to use a random number. Okay, so do this. Run the program several times to see how the starter code work and add at least three new different color sub call to your rainbow snake okay we use the random number again okay so can you make the size of the circle random too we can absolutely we can so the first what you have to do is you have to add another circle with a fill for the first if i use green color and after that i use the ellipse but i don't want to write it i just the cell with from here, copy and paste it here. What a difference between this is the y egg position. So I just increase it by 40. 40. So it's go to 220. And reset and run. Okay, it's come here. After that, I use another one. Add another one, it, it blue. And I paste it again. And after that, this one it should be 200 and 60 reset and run okay and another one is filled with the purple okay this purple egg position it should be 300 okay reset and run okay that is the egg position or x coordinate is the now it is it has the distance from each other is 40 and the y position is a random number between 190 to 210 and for the challenge the size of the circles can be random you can use here random the width or height okay so you can use it too you can use like the random number you can use around 30 to around 60 okay it's up to you and after that you have to use this and pass it here okay and after that what you have to do is I copy from this and pass it here for all the elite here so and then we run what do we see 
what can we see okay so let's try refresh and run so it's like that sometimes it's touch each other sometimes it's not okay like that this is random uh, position random y position no random that that's it random x position and random the side of the the circle like that okay finish it Okay, now we go to the last puzzle, the rain challenge and, and random number. Okay, so I think this video is a little bit long, so I will make another video to finish the, this puzzle. Okay, so you all guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification. Okay, so see you again in the next video about the challenge and random number to finish this lesson 6 random number see you again bye bye